Hi, this is Brandon Sway from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the plank hold off the glute ham raise or plank hold off GHR. This is a dominal exercise that you need a glute ham raise to be able to do, um, but it is an advanced planking variation that you can give your athletes or your clients if regular good old planks are just not cut for them. So all you're going to do is just, uh, if your glute ham raise adjusts forward and back, um, that will make the difficulty easier, harder based upon the lever arm that you have. So generally I just try to make it so that my butt is actually up on the pad here. Um, and I chose this specific glue hammer out of the two that we have because it's got a bigger pad. So it doesn't really matter what kind of glue hammer you use. Um, but how far you scoot that forward and back is going to determine your leverage. So if you want something that's harder where your butt's back here, you just scoot it closer. If you want to make it hard or easier, I'm sorry, you just scoot the leg portion of it back so your butt's further up here and less of your body is hanging off. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to hook our legs into the apparatus here. We're going to let our, our body come down into a nice flat plank, and then we're going to hold that for predetermined time. So, give you a demonstration. Hop up here. Feet go in. Chest stays tall. Lock my ankles in, so make sure I'm good and secure. Notice how my butt's a little bit over, so I could I made it a little bit harder than trying to just sit all the way up. But then all I do is just rock myself back into my plank position, make sure my feet are in. Hands can also make this difficulty in different levels. So you know, if my hands are here, this is a little bit easier. And the further I bring my hands up, it gets harder. And then you can even bring your arms up overhead. And as you can see, I'm starting to tremble. So then you just hold for your predetermined amount of time. Generally, this is generally this is going to be an exercise that you're going to do for three to five sets, and then your time that you hold can be something short. So you, know, you can do 10, 12 second holds, or you can do something up to max time. If you're getting these for 60 seconds, you're probably able to scoot this portion forward. You can add some weight. You can add some band tension. Um, there's quite a bit of different ways you can load this exercise specifically, um, but again, it's a good advanced option that you have available for your planks. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.